Nerfius Dardicus, known most commonly for its ability to launch foam projectiles at warp 3.2. But with just a few slight modifications, this seemingly innocuous device can be made into an effective pest control apparatus. Start off by grabbing an old Nerf gun that you want to modify. I used this end strike blaster because it was cheap and powerful. There's a safety mechanism built in that prevents these from firing unless a proper dart is loaded. Carefully remove all the screws holding your gun together and be sure to look for any that might be hidden. Now simply pry it apart with a screwdriver. While your gun might look a bit different than this on the inside, the only thing you need to focus on is removing the safety, which you'll always find at the base of the barrel. Just carefully remove the air piston and keep disconnecting the pieces until you reach that base. Remove the tiny plastic piece that blocks the hole. This lets us load anything we want. Also, you can cut the barrel's base out for more airflow if you'd like. Now to make this capable of shooting salt rounds, which will take out the flies, grab a dart and cut off the tip at a length that's even with the barrel. Get yourself a drinking straw or an empty pen and cut it to be slightly longer than the dart. We need a way to keep the salt in the straw when it's loaded you don't want it to block off the airflow. I cut off a small piece and curved it to sit inside the straw and then taped it to the top. That way, the salt won't just fall through and when the air comes in, it'll simply move up and out of the way. Insert the straw into the dart, leaving just a bit out of the front for easy loading. Wrap some tape around the dart so that it'll fit snugly in the barrel and won't fire out when you pull the trigger. I transferred some table salt to a small empty bottle that had a nice sized dispenser to allow me to quickly pour out the salt into the dart. This isn't required, but it certainly makes reloading a breeze. That's it, your swatter's complete. Now to test it in the wild. You'll need to experiment with different amounts of salt to figure out what works best for your gun. Sometimes just a quick pour will be effective enough to swat a fly, but sometimes you'll need to pack it to the top and launch a devastating payload. I found the effective range to be about 2 to 5 feet, which definitely beats the range of a traditional fly swatter and gives you the ability to take out your targets from a distance. This works best if they've landed and have something behind them. Firing blindly into the air can work if your aim is spot on but it might not solve the problem permanently. As always, thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed so you know when our next video comes out.